In the acceleration video, we learned that the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared, which means that the Earth applies a roughly 10 newton force, 9.8 newtons, to every kilogram of mass so that it accelerates at 9.8 meters per second um, every second. So every second it falls 9.8 meters per second faster, and things fall faster and faster, accelerate, that's what that means, as they get closer um, to the Earth. And because of that, everything falls to Earth at the same rate because every kilogram has the same amount of mass or force being applied to it. And so the Earth's gravitational pull accelerates each one kilogram at the same speed. So all things hit the ground at the same speed, except <sighs> friction is always messing with stuff. And the air has a sort of friction that is called air resistance. The surface of the air pushes against the surface of the object that's moving into it. Like you can see here with the wind blowing on Macy's clothes and her hair. When you run with the wind at your back, it's pretty easy. Running with the wind in your face is hard, but man, if you increase your surface area, it's almost impossible to run with a giant blanket on a windy day. Because the Earth has an atmosphere that contains air that has resistance, things don't speed up forever. They reach what's called a terminal velocity because the pull of gravity uh, remains constant on the object, trying to get it to fall faster and faster and faster every second. But every second, the air also starts to push back against the object. And eventually, it depends on the object, the force of the air will balance out and oppose the force of gravity and the object stops accelerating. It continues falling, it just doesn't fall any faster. Um, and we consider this the top speed of an object and this is what's called terminal velocity and it's due to the air resistance pushing back. So when the surface area of an object is increased, like when Macy was trying to run with that blanket, the air resistance increases because there's more surface of the air pushing against the object and the terminal velocity goes down. The object uh, has a lower top speed, like when we put a parachute on an object. So if I were to take and I put a parachute on a tennis ball and dropped another one that didn't, we can see here that the tennis ball without the parachute lands well before the tennis ball that has the parachute because that parachute re um, gives a lot of extra air resistance or friction to that falling object. And so the thing without the parachute lands first and the object with the parachute lands later because it's moving at a slower final velocity. When the surface is really smooth, um, that makes for less air resistance, which then causes the terminal velocity of the object to be higher. So if we have a bumpy ball and a very smooth ball, we can see here that the smooth ball hits the ground first. And finally, if we were to drop a ping pong, and I actually have a wooden ball um, and a metal ball, the ping pong ball has a lower mass, so it has a lower gravitational force pulling on it than the metal ball with more mass and greater gravitational force, which means it's going to take longer for the force of gravity to be balanced out by air resistance for the metal ball. So the metal ball is going to hit the ground first and will have a higher top speed, and the ping pong ball will hit the ground later and have a lower top speed because there's just going to be more air resistance faster on the lighter object. So basically, when things fall, it's just sinking really fast in air. And more dense things that have more mass per volume sink faster than less dense things. So the reason that things fall faster or slower isn't really gravity. It's more to do with the air resistance that resists the pull of gravity on the object.